Well, could Spider-Man be appearing in Season 2 of Invincible? A lot of pieces have moved on the board in the last couple of days to suggest that that is indeed happening. If you're a fan of the comics, you know there's some history on this, and the fact that a big voice actor who played Spider-Man in the past has joined the cast has everybody talking. Let's break down the whole story, talk about what's going on, and whether I actually think Spider-Man will appear in Invincible. Now before we do that though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos, and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently, so you are in the know. Well, I know I'm not the only fan of Invincible on this channel, and we've been anxiously awaiting Part 2 of Season 2. Now, Season 2 kicks off on March the 14th, and we only have four episodes. And as they've closed in on the second season, we started to get a little bit of news, and some of it's kind of big. Now, we just got a report that Josh Keaton will indeed lend his voice to the second half of the season. And if you don't know who Josh Keaton is, shame on you, because he is indeed the voice of the Spectacular Spider-Man. Now, back when Invincible co-creator Robert Kirkman was still writing for Marvel Comics, Mark Grayson actually crossed paths with the wall crawler in Marvel Team-Up Volume 3, number 14. After that happened, the events of that adventure were also referenced in the pages of Invincible. And if you're a fan of comics, you know how rare it is for companies to work together, so this was a pretty big deal. Obviously, when Keaton came onto the cast and that announcement was made, it got everybody talking. And then once that started happening, we started getting lots and lots of scoopers chiming in. Now, since then, multiple scoopers, including My Time to Shine Hello and Cryptic, for, and Cryptic HD Quality, have both flat out indicated that Spider-Man will indeed be part of the 8th episode of the season, which is the finale. Now, these guys are often opportunistic shills and might just be taking advantage of the casting announcement, but we want to look a little bit deeper into the whole story because I do think it might actually be happening. Now, honestly, if this did happen, it would be a huge deal, and I know everybody would probably be pretty stoked to see these characters meet up on this small screen. But will it happen? Well, honestly, guys, anything is possible. But if you're a fan of this channel, you know how complicated rights issues are. Now, just to be clear, Sony owns the theatrical rights to the Web Slinger, but Marvel Studios does have rights to develop its own animated series. That's why we're getting Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man over on Disney+. Plus. Now, this gets more complicated because Sony also is doing some of their own shows with Silk and Spider-Man Noir. So if Spidey isn't invincible, they would have had to have gotten all of these parties on the same page and probably cut them a little check. Now, this would be massive for the show and draw a ton of attention in it. And Keaton, who has confirmed he'll appear on the show, is totally playing coy on social media and for many kind of feigning way too much ignorance about what character he'll be playing in the show, suggesting to many he really will be Peter Parker. I mean, check out a couple of his tweets here just dancing around the question and kind of refusing to answer anything with any detail. Exactly what is he hiding? These types of crossovers are super rare in comics, and even more so in animation. Sometimes creators get away with a little nod to a character, but to have Spider-Man out and out appear would be a massive big deal for all parties involved, and it would close out Season 2 of Invincible with quite the bang and leave many fans who have no idea he's part of the comics absolutely stunned. Now, if this happens, we're going to have to wait and see. I'm actually kind of hopeful they do pull it off, although I want to temper expectations because so many moving parts would have to align in order to make this happen, it probably wouldn't be easy to get Amazon and one of these studios to cooperate, but to get both of them to sign off on the deal, well, that would have required massive maneuvering behind the scenes, and I feel like it probably would have leaked, but obviously we're going to have to wait till the show airs. 